Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up, all my brothers and sisters? Jesus Christ, I love you all. This is um EJ Elisha Johnson here with you guys once again to share a dream that the Lord gave me. Um, this is a dream that I got um, on the night of April 23rd, 2013, that I um, wrote in the back of my Bible um, that I forgot to um, post to you guys. Um, so I wanted to share this with you guys, a previous dream um, that I needed to put on here for you. As I was sleeping, I had a dream about prostitutes and strippers. I saw how horrible they feel about doing it and how lost they are from freedom of sin. I saw very young girls in their youth. These girls were like, um, they were like between 13 and 18. Very young girls that were just lost, you know. They felt like they had just no way out. They, um, they, they were just, they felt really bad about what they were doing. Um, and they wanted to escape but felt like they couldn't and if you're a female and you're watching this this is for you um and the lord wants you to know that you are not just your body you are his princess he loves you you are a delicate flower in his hands and he will take care of you if you ask him if you call upon his name he will take care of you my sister he will take care of you he loves you you must trust in him though. He will always give you um, what you need to survive. He will always take care of his children. But he yearns for us to like just trust and believe in him. And um, the Lord, he's put this on my heart. Um, I know this, this dream from him was for a reason. Um, and there's a lot of girls, a lot of women young women that are um, just lost in the world that uh, feel like you know they have no other way out do not listen to what the world has made you feel that that's all you are you deserve the world you are a princess you are a queen and you belong to God whether you see it or not you belong to him and he will never leave nor forsake you it's his word and you are just so precious to him. You are so very precious to him. Do not let the world brainwash you or make you feel as if all you are like is just your body. Or you have to do certain things in order to attract certain types of dudes. Because if you feel like you gotta jeopardize or um, jeopardize like your being or you know act a certain way for like a, a certain person you're trying to get attention of that's not the right person for you God will always bring the right person for you he created somebody for all of us so sisters do not do not fall into what the world makes you out to be what the world has made women out to be because this is not who you are you are so much better than this and there is always a way out in that one way is through jesus christ he is the truth and he is the life and he is the way and the lord he puts his hand out before you right now and asks you will you follow me Will you trust in me? Will you believe in me? Will you turn away from your sins and follow me? And if you will, I want you to just repeat after me. Repeat this, this simple prayer, alright? Dear Lord Jesus, I need you. I'm lost. I know that I cannot make it without you. Father, I repent of my sins. And I ask you to just guide me and take control of my life. 
Lord, I give up and tap out to your will. So, Father God, my ears and my eyes are open. My heart is open, and I invite you in to live forever and ever. Lord, I am a willing vessel, and I offer myself up to you to do with what you will, to use me in any way you choose. I believe and I receive in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Amen. And if you prayed that prayer, you will see things happen because Jesus is with you right now. You can feel him. You, if you feel that warmthness like you want to cry, this is him. This is his presence. He loves you so much. I'm going to finish reading what um, I saw in this uh, dream. One girl I knew as a sister, she came up to me crying, saying how bad she felt and how sorry and lost she was. I hugged her and said, it'll be okay. We prayed for God's forgiveness of our sins. I knew all these young girls felt the same as the one who came to me crying. It was so sad when I saw this girl. She was literally someone that I see as a little sister. Um, that God was just showing me um, that these these women are uh, they 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 don't want to, but they feel like there's no way out, and they don't know what to do. They want to get out, but feel trapped like they can't. But there is a way out, and Jesus is the way, and He's calling you. I knew all these young girls felt the same as the one who came to me crying. Before this, I think I heard the voice of God. It was a thunderous voice, loud but soft. I can't quite remember what it said, but I think it said, quiet. And I think this voice, um, whispered in my ear and it said quiet you know you guys prayer is mostly listening and not speaking when you quiet your spirit and listen to your heart you can hear the voice of God the small still voice in the back of your mind so quiet Quiet your spirit. Meditate on the Word of God. Meditate on the Bible. Scriptures in the Bible. Yea, though I walk through the valley in the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for He is with me. His rod and His staff, they comfort me. Meditate on the Word. Repeat it daily. Ask the Lord for ask the Lord for wisdom and revelation he will show you so many things the Holy Spirit will come so quiet quiet your spirit listen to the Word of God listen focus on him and listen he's always speaking you guys always it may not seem like he is but the Lord, He speaks in many different ways. He works in mysterious ways. Listen, and you will hear. God bless you all. I love you. I love all of you. Stay praying. Stay fasting. Stay seeking God's face. And He's coming very soon, you guys. I love you all. God bless. Shalom.